One of my favorite challenges that I've ever done on this channel has been the Chimps, the Chimps Plus, and the Chimps Plus Plus challenge, in which we beat, in this situation, an advanced map with a single type of tower. Now, we're going to be working with the Ice Tower today, which is going to be kind of a funky one, and I want to decide, how do we beat an advanced map here? And I think the answer is, we've got a new map, and it's probably the easiest, easiest advanced map that we've played in a long time. Out of curiosity, we got to give it a shot here. There's another section over here, and we'd have to send it to the other side of the portal. Um, and we want to see, you know, we can't even afford a second upgrade here, so this is kind of just the way it is. But if that's the way it is... Uh, it's still not enough. So what that means is now we have to do a hero start. The only heroes that we can start off the game with are Sada, Quincy, or Azili. And let's be honest here, Azili's just not going to cut it. So we're stuck with Sada or Quincy. To be honest, Quincy might not be bad. But I think Sada might be a smidge better. And the cool thing about heroes in this map is that you can put them on this little uh, section right here, which gives them a bonus. You can get the camera detection bonus. You can get the extra popping power and range bonus, which is kind of cool. Or we could go for the jungle drums damage bonus here. And to be honest, this is just too far in the back for me to think it makes sense. I think we got to put it, unfortunately, here, which is going to help us for DDTs. But pretty much nothing else because we don't need that camera detection. But... Yeah, let's go for it. So right from the get-go, we got a nice spot here. We can do a, a saw to start. That means we can start to throw down our ice towers and actually get going in here. A real Chimps Plus Plus start for now. Okay, we got enough money for the ice tower at this point. Round nine. Um, can, it, can I be honest and just say that I don't think this portal is going to make any sense whatsoever. I think we want to swap it to the other direction for sure. This is going to give us so much more, like, room to work with. Um, and the cool thing is, is we got to get the all types of popping power here so we can pop frozen balloons, which is kind of cool. But I think the best bet for us is still just an ice tower closer to the back of the map for now. So we're going to go with one right here. And uh, let's get going. Okay, so I got to admit this is kind of a cool spot for the ice tower. We can get it uh, for a full wrap around here and a pretty large area over here once we get the range going. So I'm kind of feeling it. Plus it's right next to Sada, which is exactly what you want to see when you have a tower that can specifically hit them frozen balloons already. Delicious. So I think my best combo for the start here, which may be the wrong play. Ice towers are weird, especially when you're trying to solo with them. It's got to be permafrost, cold snap, ice shards combo. Uh, be the best best bang for our buck popping power here. Plus, it gives us that uh, de uh, regenification and decamoization, which doesn't really matter much with Sada, but it's still a thing. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Down here. Oh, Sada jump. Sada jump. Yes. Okay, we're still alive for now. Wait, wait, wait. Ice shards is up. As far as combos go, I think we are better off with the Enhanced Freeze, spe specifically if we're planning on getting this guy up to a 5th tier eventually. Um, which means we need to go Embrittlement and Deep Freeze soon. But I think I need more Ice Towers in the backpack here, or something that has more range and more, like, cleanup power. Anyways, a somewhat tough round here, round 22. Still goes down, Sada's owning. What's kind of awkward about the situation is normally leads are kind of an issue. I have to, like, try to jump on them on 20A, do a weird jump on them for round 30, or, like, get a tower that can actually pop them. I don't need to worry about that. Slaughter's got to gather. This allows so many different things to happen that were not allowed before. It's kind of absurd. In which way, we have $2,700 to work with right now, and I think I want to go for that cryo cannon, but I, uh, I'm afraid to do it live because uh, I, I may want to sell it. I may not want to, like, actually get this thing. I want to make sure he can reach it over here, um, at least for Moeps, because I'm thinking this is probably where my Icicle and Pale is going to go, as ridiculous as that is, I think. I can't say for sure. Yeah, let's at least get the cryo cannon. I don't love it. I don't love it. Uh, I don't love it. I don't love it. Okay, I want to say, like, mistake number one, but I really was hoping that we could reach over here with the cryo cannon, uh, and I can't. So I'm going to I'm gonna put my ice tower here instead, which probably seems, again, goofy to just, like, build so many ice towers in the back, but this is where all the balloons are going to go. So it really is not going to affect us too much here. So cryo cannon is officially up, and I think... I think I've gotta go. Does it matter? I don't think I need this thing unless I'm gonna plan on popping DDTs and camos with this guy. For now, let's go with the popping power. We're gonna go enhanced freeze and deep freeze. We're hoping they're ready to decamelize all this stuff up in here or have Sada pop it anyways. It probably seems like a bit of a goofy spot, but I think it makes a lot of sense. We can hit the blooms as soon as they come in. We can still hit them all the way over here and as they're wrapping around a third time, basically. So I think we're gonna go for another cryo cannon because they're getting pretty powerful these days this one's probably gonna end up having to be a top bat though so i need that cam detection before i go there man can i afford an icicles for the moab 
because that would be absolutely wonderfully delicious. Oh, easily. Icicles is almost up. Um, I think I, I kind of want to like move Sada to strong, but I just can't do that yet. Zebras are kind of an issue sometimes, <laughs> seemingly. All right, anyways, we got the uh, Permafrost Cold Snap here to pop the... Uh, uh, we're going to jump on it so we can get these blooms taken care of. We got a couple more blooms in the back back here, but they're not zebras. And we take them all down. Delicious. Even the Moab can get taken down with these ice, ice towers now. Sweet. It recently came to my attention that not everybody knows that creative support codes are for multiple games. So if you guys want to be amazing, only if you want to, if you want to hook me up, you can use my creative support code on any Ninja Kiwi game that you play. So Bloons Card Storm, BTD6, Battles 2, whatever you're feeling here. But just want to say big shout out to you guys again. Thank you for using it and enjoy the show. So far, things are going absolutely amazing, and believe it or not, I think I need to save up for a big ice tower already. I don't think I can just spam a bunch of low levels or anything like that. I need to go big. And the big one that I would love to, love to, love to, love to get is Icicle Impale. $32,000 for this defense, though. I mean, Sada's already level 8. If she reaches level 10, that's like a crazy amount of cleanup on the weird hard round, so maybe. But we got Bloons in the back on 47 already, so we are not exactly owning right now. We are surviving, not owning. I kind of want to get an embrittlement. Yeah, I'm going to go for the embrittlement. I'm going to go for the deep freeze. It's not that much money and might help us out a lot on these weirder rounds right now. Plus, he can do more damage against Moabs, which is kind of cool. Uh, so, Sada could do that extra damage right there. Um, anyway, wait, let's check it out on round 49. Is it going to be any better than 47? Seemingly, yes. Not bad. And round 50 is going to be our first... Our, our first second Moab coming out, which is not by himself. So let's see if this is going to be just as easy as last time. Um, no jump this time on the first set. We get a, a random blue sneak to the back back here, but that means we do not have Zebra or White Popping Power in the back back there. Oh boy. All right, so we're going to move Sada to Strong here. I think I got to go for another Ice Tower. And um, if I want to survive here, I'm going to go for one more bottom path Icicles for now and aim it on Strong. Oh, we lose anyways. White balloon stuck through. Crap. Okay, okay, okay. No problem. We're going to go for another ice tower here. At the beginning, we'll get the icicles. We're going to go for the enhanced freeze. But I don't think I need the deep freeze for now. And we're going to leave both of these guys on strong so they specifically aid in the Moab. Moab. Let's see if that is going to help us out here. Going much better. Sod is still on first. And we all oh, brutal. Brutalize that Moab. That's good news. If we can take down this Moab, I mean, it's only going to get easier, so it's going to get stronger. So, specifically, when we get the blue bleed over here, it's going to help us out a lot. Okay, we're 12k away from our Icicle and Pale at this point. That's pretty cool. Um, the problem is, it's going to be, like, right around round 63 when that happens, and that might actually be a problem for us. Luckily, Sod is going to reach level 10 by that point, uh, but that's not an automatic win either. So, 10k, baby. Can we do it? Uh-oh, BFB. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I think we gotta jump on the BFB. Uh, we do a pretty good amount of damage right there. I'm gonna have to sword charge through the end here, though. Or do we even need to? Oh my god. Did we just- Oh, we got a white balloon. Ah! Okay, we're gonna sword charge it anyways. I don't think that's gonna co- Oh! We got zebras up the wazizzle! That's not good. Saw so is still kinda taking care of it, but I got no abilities right now. Okay. Okay, it's getting tight. We got white balloons, like, almost sneaking through right now. Zebra's still trying to sneak through. We finally got our ability here. I'm going to think I'm just going to jump. Let's go to strong for one second and jump. Back to first. We take it down. Beautiful. All right. We are almost there. We need another $1,000. Come on. Come on. And as long as we don't let Zebra sneak through, we can still clean up loops in the back back here. Can't be Zebras or Whites. Okay. We're almost there. Don't forget, I cannot buy this one up. I need to buy specifically this one. Otherwise, ooh, this could be a tough one. We're going to go for that jump. Oh, I wanted to be on the strong. Doesn't actually matter too much, though. We managed that first Moab. I don't want to waste my sword charge, though. And oh, no. Is it going to sneak through? We got some zebra. Oh, we got a zebra in the back. Freaking zebra in the back, man. Oh, one white. Okay, this time around, it's going to go better. We're going to jump on this guy first. I got uh, Sada on strong for right now. I need to move her to first for a second. Oh, that went terrible. Why did that happen? What's crazy is I can actually buy a Super Brittle right now. I could get this fifth tier, but I think I'm better off going for the Ice Skull and Pale. So that's the, kind of what I want to do here. I think I'm going to have to jump on this guy just a little later. Maybe? That's going to be the answer here. Let's wait till the Ceramics pop out. We didn't have Ceramics pop out, but we had most of the Bloons pop out. 
Ooh, that's still going pretty good right there. Beautiful. Amazing. Stunning. And that's going to get us to Icicle Impale if I can survive around 63. Which it looks like it's going to be easy peasy for that survive. We got the Cold Snap combo here to make sure we didn't mess anything up. And life is going to be good for a while. Cannot believe it. Ice Towers only with Sada. At least beating round 63 so far. And I think this is going to take us to at least round 80. But after that point, man, can three fifth tier Ice Towers actually manage? I do not know. Check it. Round 75 right now. We got BFBs up the wazoo coming out. And we are starting to struggle. Um. Okay. What do we do about this? Well, definitely don't know what to do about this. Because we are, like, losing hardcore right now. I really was hoping that I was just going to get, like, a super brittle going real soon here. Does not seem to be the case, though. Maybe? Okay, I have no abilities here for 76, though. Okay. Let's hope that we just pop them anyways. It's a possibility. Uh, I needed to put this person on first, not strong. Got a random zebra about right here, but it doesn't matter. Woo! All right! Even 76 goes down, no abilities required. And that is going to get us to at least a super brittle, which could be the game changer for us. That allows every other tower around me to do mega massive damage. Alright, saw to jump. Right here we got a big group of stuff. Um, I do have my Icicle Impale on first right now, which probably is okay for now, but I think I'm gonna need to swap that to strong later. So I specifically aim the- or even last. So I specifically aim the Moabs. Just like non-stop. Alright. I don't know. Based on what I'm seeing right now, I'm not exactly loving life, but I'm not hating life either. Just kind of like feeling out life. Feeling like maybe life is okay. Maybe I could sit in a, a hammock, but maybe there's going to be a hurricane while I'm sitting in my hammock. You know, maybe it's going to blow my hammock down. Maybe there's going to be a cliff right next to where I'm laying my hammock off. It's just going to blow off the cliff and I'm going to die. I don't know yet. Okay, that's that's the problem that we have. Because hammocks sound good until you blow off a cliff, you know? And chickens eat your dead body. You know, you, you never know what's going to happen. So, um, any which way, 78, still going strong. Okay, round 80, baby. We got a Zoma oh God coming. Shouldn't be a big deal. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We didn't mean to blow that up. But actually, that could be good to have that when I need it. So let's hope that that just comes back, because I don't remember how to, how to turn it on. Uh-oh. Got Blue just trying to seek for the backpack here, but it doesn't matter. Oh my God, number one goes down. Sada's level 14. She's going to keep on leveling up, probably getting to level 20 by the end of the game here. If not, we might need to spend a little bit of extra money on Sada instead of spending money on Ice Towers, interestingly enough. But at this point, I think our goal should be probably to get an absolute zero. Ability, so cold, it freezes all regular balloons for longer, including white, zebra, and camo. That could change the game entirely, because right now the only person that can, that can pop these whites and zebras is freaking Sada. All right, she's popping all of them. She's the king, or the queen, I guess. Um, all right, uh, once we get to free play here, things don't exactly go great, but not horrible either. Oh, I just wonder where to put that puppy. I'm thinking of the backpack here. Um, Clean cut. but don't forget that that's Still just the ability. It's regular attacks. Uh, uh, I don't know. Oh, zebra snuck through. All right, look at that, 82. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm gonna move this person back to first instead of strong. I'm gonna try to do a jump here fairly early. To melt through a couple more balloons in here. That goes way better, I think. We can force BFPs in the back back here, though. I could use my solar charge. Let's try not to, though. Um, it's kind of okay to take it slower with the ice going pale, if possible. You know? Yeah, no big deal. All right. I can't decide if I want to build my ice tower in the back back here or not. I. So if I get any ceramics back here at all, I don't think I can kill him. Like, Sawd is the only person that's going to be able to kill him, so it might be just a waste of money. Putting absolute zeros in the backpack here. But I should just put them over here and just try to pop it all in this general area right now. Okay, that's what I'm gonna... That's what I'm gonna plan if I can fit it. Can I jam it in here? Oh, I can. I could slice it right in there. Okay, we're going for it. Snowstorm, absolute zero combo in the front part of the map here. Um... And I think I have to go for the top path here just to make sure I can hit those DDTs and everything. So we're going to go like this. Absolute zero from Frost. Cold snap. That could be the answer to all of our problems, friends. Admittedly, things are going much better than they were before. 
Um, I don't know why, but Absolute Zero actually pretty phenomenal. Just stopping the balloons in the tracks right next to this uh, Super Riddle here is pretty awesome. And then Sada is still cleaning up. Got enough range to make it all happen. Uh, 87 is not a big deal here. Sada's currently level 15 as well. I I feel like we can keep going. As, so, as long as DDTs are not going to be like this mega, amazing, ridiculous killer to us, we can probably save up a lot of money for the rest of the game and really pull off what we need it when we need it. Okay, 88 though, a big rush again. We're going to go for one quick Sada jump, which I probably should have left her on strong for. In fact, maybe I should leave her on strong now. This is what I'm so weird about. Like, normally I'm like, guys, this is what you should do. It makes sense to put this tower on this. It makes sense to put snipers on strong. But it makes sense to put the bouncing bullet sniper on first. It makes sense to put, you know, the uh, Moab press on strong. It makes sense for blah, 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 blah. In this situation, I have no idea what the best plan of action is. This ice tower on first or strong. Sada on first or strong. I don't know, um, like, at all what I should be doing. But I can tell you it's still going okay. All right, DDTs, though. I would expect Ice Glimpale to demolish, to delete. Automatic easy win here. Check it out. Automatic easy win. You love to see it. Another big round here, round 91. We are going to go for a jump again on these BFBs. Seems like it's pretty effective. We do a lot of damage to the bubs and the BFBs kind of right next to where the uh, uh, Super Brutal is. And that is the most effective way to get our damage output. So here we go. Ice Cold Pale could start to get overwhelmed by too many Moabs, though. Uh, I think I'm gonna wait for the exact same thing. Um, I'm gonna wait for these Bleeds to get next to the Super Riddle, and we're just gonna jump on them. All right, jump on them again. Boom, just like that. Looks good. And we got a lot of balloons here, though. But is it gonna go down? Yes, it does. Wow. Okay, and that's with twenty-three thousand dollars saved up, which. To be honest, after getting all three fifth-year ice towers, what kind of ice tower would you buy? You've got more embrittlements. You've got more snowstorms. You've got more icicles. Okay, if you really need more zebra popping power, this could be the answer. Because it briefly, oh, freezes them, but doesn't pop them. Ooh. Right? I don't remember. For, I don't think it pops them. Okay. That could be a problem. To get more fourth years might not help me at all in popping those zebras or whites. Or, lastly though, we've got Icicles, which right now could do damage to Moab class balloons. It could be the only thing that I want to build for the rest of the game. Just bottom path, ice tower, spam. Sounds stupid. Might make a lot of sense though. All right, we got a big one here. I'm going to go for uh, a jump early on in the game here just to get some spread between the balloons. I'm going to go for that ice tower ability here because I'm going to get it back for 95 anyways. Uh, and I might use, this, might use the sword charge as well, depending on how things are going to go. Um, let's go for another jump, but let's put it on close here. Ooh, that's not where I wanted it, though. I wanted it over here. Still not bad, though. You know what? We got another freeze. Let's use that instead. Let's leave her on first again, and let's let, let him clean up. 94. Ooh, we got this thing back, so if we need it, we can blow his big, fat, creamy, green nuclear load all over these blues, man. All right, we just can't press it on accident. Don't micro improperly, Chris. Okay, so DT should go down easily. And I am just going to save up my money until I need it, because sometimes I spend the money on the wrong thing, and then I mess things up. So I'd rather lose, than retry and know what to try with it. Alright, big chunks of DTs this time. I'm going to go for that uh, big jump here on a big chunk of balloons. Um, I'm going to wait on the freeze here, though. Ice Glen Pale is starting to get overwhelmed a little bit. Alright, we got a freeze here. All these balloons. DTs are slowly going down, though. They're getting decamelized, but it doesn't even seem to help much. Uh, last few DDTs to take down. Ice Glen Pale on first is working beautifully. Last DDT. We take him down. Unbelievable. Even 95 goes down fairly easily on our first try. Until we have to deal with millions of ceramics that just don't want to die on us. Look at this, man. It's absurd. It's like 30 shots to kill it. But it goes down by itself, which is cool. All right, 96. Another big round here. We're going to again do that same thing here. We're going to jump on these balloons next to the Super Riddle if possible. Because this is going to do basically bonus damage to it, which is awesome. Um, I will also use my Ice Tower Freeze because it comes back pretty quickly. So I feel like you can just get it back again if you need it. Sada's so currently level 17 here, which means she's not going to reach level 20. Ooh. I don't know if that's going to be a problem or not. But it does give me the option. Maybe I can buy that level 20. Maybe it's going to be the difference here for us. All right, ready to go for another jump on the... Oh, terrible jump, Sada! Terrible jump. Let's freeze instead. Let's see if we can get it back for 97, though. I might need it. Oh, my God, there's a lot of balloons here. Oh, baby. Okay, do I want to waste my abilities here? 
All right, I'm gonna try something crazy. I'm gonna go for a jump in the front here, see if that can take down all of them with a the freeze combo. No. No. Okay, that's okay. We, we screwed it up that time. We screwed it up. Let's unscrew it up. Let's go for a good jump here at the right time this time. I don't know exactly where it went, but I think it was correct. I'm gonna use that freeze again. Slow everything down. Just keep them on the screen here. Let Sauda slowly take them all down. Uh, Sauda, work on it. We're gonna swap to strong for a quick second here, and then back to first. Gotta damage those Zoma Gods properly. Freeze them all right next to us. And the question is, do I want to use this uh, sword charge? I love to save it, if at all possible. If at all possible. Looks okay for us to maybe pop it. Um, Moab is going down slowly. Very nice, very nice. Very slow, very nice, perfect. 96 goes down easily enough. Okay, 97 shouldn't be a big deal. Reinforce some of my gods. I mean, technically, they're pretty tanky, but we have so much slowdown with this guy, a pretty decent amount of damage with it. I don't expect it to be an issue, but maybe. Um, I can use more uh, abilities if I want to, as long as I get them back for 98, because I won't have everything ready to go in round 98 to uh, officially fully pop these things. Okay, if we're gonna have an issue though, it's probably gonna be the balloons here. Probably, I would expect. So far going okay. A few more mobs left. Super Riddle trying to handle it, and it looks like we do. Super Riddle's gonna handle that. A few more uh, ceramics take down, which takes forever. Cue to cut to round 98. Okay, so I have this thing available, but I don't wanna use it. Instead, we're gonna go for a quick jump here. Early on, I'm going to go over a super early sword charge. Mega early, so I can get it back for a 99 just to see. And now, I'm going to freeze. I'm going to make it this go as slow as possible, man. As slow as possible. Might need to throw this, uh, uh, ooh. Is it worth it? Does it get me? A blur of speed. Screw it. Let's go for it. Blur of speed, baby. That's what I want to see. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna jump on it. Back to first. I'm going to use the, free, the slow down again. It makes my Ice Towers attack faster. Which could be helpful. Uh, I have the Sword Charge ready to go again if I absolutely needed it. So, like, I think no matter what, I could beat round 98. And I have a feeling what's going to happen is that I can probably beat round 99 easily with my Skull Impale. But I want to take it slow. Crap. Oh, crap. Got Zebra. Oh, ready to do it. Ready to do it. Oh, it's not enough. But is it? With the freeze. I could jump on it, but it's not worth it. We're going to let ourselves die here. We have $56,000, though, dude. We just got to spend that money, I think. Oh, I that. So it does seem weird not to spend money at this point of the game, right? You're like, Chris, you're just a freaking idiot. You're trying to make things seem rid more ridiculous than they are. That's not true. I want to make sure that if I need to make sure that on, on round 100, if I'm struggling, I can get a level 20 Sauda instead of just spamming a bunch of stupid Ice Towers, right? So that's kind of where I'm at right now. I, I like don't know what the best option is, so I'd rather try a couple times right now just to see if I can like follow through with it. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. Oh, blur of speed, man. For forgot. Anyways, we're gonna put Sauda on strong for a quick second here and do a quick jump. Back to first. There's too many balloons right now. We're gonna try to freeze them. I don't have my sword charge ready to go, but I think I need to do an early sword charge if I have it available. Can't believe this is going so ridiculously slow right now, though. So I'm just taking down, like, all the mobs right now. Oh, I hit that thing on accident! I, uh, I think I gotta quit. But look at the stunnage power. That is actually pretty cool. Oh, oh, that is really cool. Would we have won, though? I think pretty... Effectively, I think we would have won. Another really tough battle here, right at the portal. Um, I could use the sword charge to win, I think. But I don't think I wanna... I think I gotta give up again. Let's try one more of these jumps. That's the the more easily adjustable uh, ability here. Uh, balloons are like trying to get through so hard, but unbelievably, we take them all down. Oh my god! So the question is, can we beat round 99 without any abilities and have everything ready to go on round 100 here? Can this ice clone pale handle them all? Um, uh, dude, we got a chance. It could happen. Unbelievably, it will! Guess what? Round 100, all abilities, 60 grand to go. I have no idea how much damage this does, but I'm just gonna blow it. I'm gonna blow every single ability we got here right from the get-go. 
We're even use that ice tower, even though it technically doesn't hurt the bad balloon. It does allow us to do more damage with our other towers here. And the question is just with 60 grand, how close are we going to get here? Ooh, I think we're going to pull it off. That's a mediumly damaged bad balloon right there. Obviously, we can't do anything more, but 60 grand to play around with. This could be a big, uh, big game. So we're able to afford nine total icicles if we do not buy the Sauda levels. Um, yeah, I don't know how this is going to go down at all. How much damage are we even doing with these guys? Oh, icicles can't... I'm kind of confused. How do we have 50 pops? <laughs> what? I thought these guys could do damage to Moabs now. Does damage bonus to Moab class... Oh, is the bad not considered a Moab class freaking balloon? What? What? Oh, no. How do they even get any pops at all, then? Okay, I figured it out. It's a super brittle problem. Uh, I feel like that's not supposed to happen. That the super brittle is causing me to not be able to do damage with icicles. That seems stupid. But it's a thing. So anyways, this is kind of unfortunate because super brittle was how we were getting the bonus damage here. But fortunately for us, I accidentally left on the ability to sell. So even though I get zero dollars for selling it, I could sell my super brittle. And fix the technical problem here. Tech technically. Um, yeah, not sure how this is going to go down, but let's at least give it one more shot here without the Super Brittle to see if we can make it happen. So we're going to start off with, uh, uh, going for a Sauda Jump. We're going to go for a Sauda Sword Charge. We're going to go for that Freezy action really quickly. You can see this, uh, pop count here is definitely skyrocketing pretty quickly now. Um, I mean, we've got nine of these guys, so nine of them times, like, 500. It's only, like, 5,000 damage total, though. Not great, to be honest all things considered, but I also set the portal this way, um, so maybe we could get more time to bop them. Maybe. Let's check it out. Oh, he's already through the portal. Oh, that's not looking good. All right, all right. So let's get one more freezy action in here, and then let's get that sword. Oh, so we get like 700, 800 damage here. Yeah, like 700 total. That's not going to be enough. The Ice Towers just can't take down the Bad Balloon. Believe it or not, I was like ready to give up. And then I was actually editing my video and I was thinking, wait, wait, wait. All I need to do is get the Refreeze. And I was for some reason thinking maybe the Refreeze was this upgrade. But it's not. We should have had Refreeze with the Icicles, which means that the Super Brittle should have worked with the Refreeze. So I'm mad that it's not working right now and I'm going to just straight up give up. I feel like the game's broken. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. Like, I'm, I'm as angry as this guy right now. But anyways, uh, I'm sorry. I am going to give up right now. Um, normally, I try to like give it another try. But realistically, we had a very successful game. It was just that last round. It's kind of annoying. So that's where we're going to end it. If you guys enjoyed, obviously, press the like button. Make sure you use my creative support code. And have a super duper delicious day.